Princess Elena of Avila, Flight of the Jaquins. Skylar has been chosen to train young Jaquins to become protectors of Avila. Princess Elena is the only one who has faith that her friend can do the job. Will Skylar prove Elena right? Crown Princess Elena is very excited. She's been invited to attend the biggest Jaquin ceremony of the year. Jaquins are magical jaguars with wings. Today they will choose a Navegra to train young Jaquins to become guardians and be the future protectors of Avila. I hope I get picked, Skylar says, as he soars through the sky with Eleanor on his back. You, teased Migs and Luna, laughing. They think Skylar goes off too much to be a good Navegra. As soon as they arrive, Zephyr, the Jaquin chief, welcomes Eleanor warmly. We are honored that you could join us, he says. The honor is all mine, Eleanor responds. When the ceremony begins, Zephyr reminds the Jaquins of the importance of their role as guardians of Avila. The etchings on these stones show us some of Avila's enemies, he says. We must always be on the lookout for them. Being a Nevegra is a great responsibility. Each Jaquin then plucks one of their feathers and puts it in a large ball made of twigs. Zephyr spins the ball and pulls out a feather. This year's Nevegra will be Skyla. He is shocked. Eleanor speaks up for a friend. Skylar likes to have fun, but he's also loyal and brave, she tells the crowd. I know this isn't my decision, but I think you'll make a great Navegra. Skylar thanks Eleanor. Princessa, I won't let you down. Skylar is given his first task as a Navegra. He must pick up three young Jaquins from the gateway to Valestrella, where all Jaquins come from. He must bring them straight back to begin their guardian training. The first two young Jaquins to step out of the gateway are Ciela and Avion. The last one is Nico, says Kyla, surprised. Big bro, Nico cries happily. The brothers are so excited to see each other, they touch wings in a high five. As Kyla leads the young Jaquins back to Avila, they see a fancy town below. Skylar tells them it is Pueblo de Oro, where the Noblins live. Noblins are magical shapeshifters who can turn anything into gold. Nico asks if they can explore the town. Even though Skylar knows Zephyr is expecting them, he agrees. Just one quick stop, he says. Jaiku, the Noblin leader, is excited to see his old friend Skylar. He invites the Jaquins to play a game called Golden Sun Disc. Jaiku holds up a wooden disc and magically turns it to gold. Ciela and Avillon would rather not play. They are anxious to get to Avila. Suddenly, they hear a voice say, I know the way to Avila. They turn and see a coyote named Troyo. Ciela convinces Avion that they should go with Troyo. Skyla doesn't even notice them leaving. He's having too much fun. And Troyo leads Ciela and Avion into the jungle. He pulls the lever disguised as a branch. A trap door opens and the young Jaquin slide down a dirt tunnel and land in a cage. They've been captured in Troyo's underground den. And back in Avila, Elena and the rest of the Jaquins are concerned. Skylar and his trainee should have been back already. Elena, Megs, and Luna decide to go look for them. They soon find Skylar and Nico goofing around in Pueblo de Oro. Nico's here, says Megs, shaking his head. That explains it. Explains what? asks Elena. When Skylar and Nico are together, it's playtime all the time, replies Luna. Skylar, you need to grow up, Meg says sternly. Skylar tells them he and his brother were about to leave. That's when he notices that Ciela and Avion are missing and Troy's mark is next to their footprints. Meg explains to Elena that Troy Yo is a dangerous trickster who wants to become king of the jungle. Now, thanks to Skylar, he has the young Jaquins. Elena is disappointed in Skylar. You said you wouldn't let me down, she tells him, but you did. The princess sighs and follows Megs and Luna into the jungle to look for Ciela and Avion. Skylar hangs his head. He feels terrible. Nico tries to console Skylar. Suddenly they hear Elena, Megs and Luna shout for help. They race over, but it is too late. Troyo has captured their friends. Nico wants to chase Troyo, but Skylar says they should stop and think. They need a plan. Before long, Skylar and Nico are ready with a plan. When Troyo spots the brothers in the jungle, he smirks and pulls the lever to open his trap door. But Skylar and Nico made a few changes. Now the lever causes a cage to drop on top of Troyo. The coyote tosses off the cage, but Jaiku and his noblins pop up from the bushes and surround Troyo. Skylar and Nico quickly tie him up with vines, then Jaiku turns the vines into gold. Troyo is trapped. Skylar and Nico free Elena and the rest of the Jaquins. 
As they fly back to Evelis, Yella and Avion promise to never walk away with a stranger again. Skylar promises to be more responsible. Me too, says Nico, and if I get into trouble, I'll just stop and think like my big bro. Eleanor pats a friend on the back. I'm proud of you, Skylar, she says. I knew you'd be a great Navegra. The end.